hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is my back to more Terraria, the link to the past, or link to Terraria, sorry. Before we head down to, um, you know, open this up, I say we go check out what the heck's over here, because I see a little bit of extra lights over here. Yep, definitely. Let's see what this uh, awesome chest has in store for us. We got some extra iron skin potions, which are very much appreciated, and a couple of five regen potions um some people in the comments a while ago were like mobby craft this item craft that item i'm apparently they weren't watching or paying attention to the first couple episodes when i said over and over we're not supposed to craft anything it's part of the adventure map so stop asking me to do it all right here we go uh, so uh sorry jellyfish i'm gonna have to get you out of here so this should open this up there we go I'm going down, going down. Let's go up here before we drown. Um, water dungeon. Ugh. I hate water dungeon. Oh, it's over here. Can't see anything. Bobby, shine your light. It's a secret to everybody. Cause you know, super secret and all that. Whoa, Warding White Horseshoe Blue. I've never seen this before. This is an actual vanilla item, but I've never seen it. Allows the holder to double jump, increases jump height, negates fall damage. So we don't need this anymore. Oops, I almost saved and quit. So yeah, we don't need the horseshoe anymore. And we don't need the double jump and the jump height. So this thing covers that all, which means we can carry one more accessory item, which could be this. Jellyfish provides light underwater. That sounds really awesome. Actually, yeah, that does sound pretty cool. Awesome. Let's go. So, let's keep emptying out our inventory by deleting the crap we just don't need. Get rid of this. Get rid of the shark fin stuff. We'll put this over here. Slime King Bar. I don't think they really want me to craft anything, but I'll hold on to these crazy swords anyway. So, I don't need these, right? Negates fall damage. No, that's what the balloon is for. <laughs> Negates fall damage. So, why? Double jump, increase height, and the shackle, we don't need it. So we're good. Cool. It's pretty awesome we found that, the little jellyfish accessory. It's going to help out a good bunch. Wee! Oh, gosh. Here we go. Don't forget to rest up. Sure thing, game. Don't tell me what to do. All right. It would seem that Ganondorf is determined to drown you down here. The switch in front of you will release the water from above. Use the water to find your way to the sixth stage. Here we go. Oh, which way do we go? Oh no, looks like we have to go down this way. So, let's see here. So yeah, we have light. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go, quickly, go! Doesn't look like I'm gonna drown anytime soon. I don't know what that did, but I'm guessing we gotta press it anyway. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, that was easy. Don't tell me that was the end of it. Probably this is gonna be a secret, huh? It's a secret to most people. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! I've never actually used it, but pretty cool. Transform the holder into merfolk when entering water, so that should make it so I can breathe underwater, right? So we might get rid of this and turn into. So here we go. Link is now a mermaid. Cool. What does this do? Can breathe and move easily underwater. Dude, that moves. That moves in. Yeah, I can move insanely quick underwater. Just check up here. Maybe there's a secret, or I could be overthinking things. Either way, look at the background. They made it into an awesome little um, cross sword pattern, which is for what the heck? What the f balls? Ow! 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 Okay. Oh god! I like I dropped like a freaking rock down here. All right, so we never have to worry ever again about um not you know dying from water renos. Oh god, god, we I'm, I've never had this item so woo, it feels crazy moving at this, you know, at this speed underwater. Whoa, it's insane. So that's what it means by merfolk. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jesus. Uh, all right, all right. Careful, careful, careful. Ooh, what's all this stuff? It has a little down thing on it. I'm pretty sure that's for water, right? So this should drain everything. Yep, it's gonna drain everything, all right. And this area opens up. Woo! Even more areas to go. All right, that's also draining the uh, Taguas. Now where do I go though? I'm draining all the water, but where do I go from there? 
I don't know where they want me to go. Was I not supposed to drain the water? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Because I haven't been over here. Was I not supposed to? I don't think I was supposed to drain that fucking water. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Okay, that opened up the area. I wasn't supposed to drain that water, otherwise I wouldn't be able to open this. But we had enough health that we can just jump on that. That was very close. Jeez. Alright, what's this? To pass this next area, flip one switch in each of the three Triforces to open the way forward. The correct switch won't shoot arrows. Also, to reach the chest to the left, pull the... Okay, the water's back. Alright, to reach the chest to the left, pull the switch with a different background that also doesn't shoot areas, uh, arrows. Alright, so here we go. Just got to uh, find some awesome switches. So three arrows that do not shoot... I mean three levers that do not shoot water. Gotcha. What the heck is this place? Oh, uh, this place is covered. So this place probably goes next. So yeah, you see there's one here and then there's another pattern here. I'm assuming there's gonna be three in a row that all have to, of course, use those levers. God, we move so quick in the water. This is an amazing item to have. All right. Oh, that shot arrows. That's not good. All right. That's one. I'm gonna press everything just in case. Because remember, uh, they did say like, yeah, see, that, that one opened it up already. That one opened up the, the thing. Alright. Ow! That's a bad one. That's a bad one. I'm pretty sure I opened the area. Of course they would make it a much more farther one. But who knows? Maybe sometimes they do it to trick you. Do -do. Let me guess, it's gonna be the one all the way to the left? If I was making this map. Ah, the troll is real. Ah, oh, it's the last one I picked. Why? Why? Game. All right, here we go. To the underground. Well, back to the other chest first. Then we'll walk to the right. Let's see what's going on up in yonder. I'm mer merfolk. Here it is. All right, we got an awesome warding cross necklace. Increase the length of invincibility after taking damage. I'll definitely wear that after we don't need the jellyfish necklace anymore, which is the one that provides light when we're underwater so you know obviously we're not gonna need it later I wonder if they're gonna make us fight a boss underwater hmm. okay so that's done that's complete this one is done as well and so is this cool all three completes what is next whoa hello looks like we're about to fight something all right let's do this Oh my god, did you hear that? That sounds horrible. Alright, let's read the sign. Pull the lever below to test your might against one of the evil wizard Aghanim's monstrosities. Once defeated, use your hookshot to reach the area above. So let's put on the warding necklace. We don't need the diving gear anymore. And we don't need the guardian flipper anymore. Let's begin the fights. We're going to be using our iron skin. Oh, Braid of Cthulhu. Iron skin. And the regeneration. Let's do it! God, I hope we can beat this boss. Okay, so... Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so... To, to fight the boss, we have to kill his little minions. Oh, God. I don't know what, what my best bet to use here. Uh, what my best item to use here. They give you a lot of uh, area to move, which is sweet. Brain of Cthulhu! Oh, my God. It's okay. We're not taking a lot of damage at all. I mean, apparently this is more of a uh, journey rather than uh, the boss battles, right? So that's cool. So one more little guy left, and then we can fight this boss, Serino. Hey, stop flying. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come at me, brain! Oh, God, it's gross! Ow. So we're not using the actual little shield anymore, so we're getting knocked back very slightly, but it should be fine. Yeah, this boss is easy, yo. Um, what's his other counterpart? Like in the other world? I totally forgot. Not the eight of the worlds, is it? Nope. Oh, bye bye. That was pretty easy. What did he drop? He dropped the Braid of Cthulhu Mask. Are we gonna turn into that? Oh, Link! Oh, God, no. No, I'll we'll just not wear that. Let's get rid of these. Hope they don't need me to use these because I'm deleting them. Alright, here we go. Pretty easy, boss. What are you gonna do about it? Alright. 
I can't believe you made it! Ganondorf is retreating to his underground lair as we speak. Take the sixth soul of might. We only need one more to break the seal to Ganondorf's lair. The seventh sage is locked up far, um, far to the east of here in the fire dungeon. But wait, what's that noise? Kaboom! Well, I'll press that after this. Alright, so we can't increase our life anymore. But what we can do is take this extra soul of might. And then this legendary fiery greatsword, 48 damage compared to 38. Hell yeah, it's gonna be sweet. And uh, and then finally we also have this uh, guarding obsidian scroll, grants immunity to fire blocks. We'll take it over this um, warding one, but we'll also hold the warding one and uh, change. Oh god, we're taking damage here. We're taking damage. All right, what's this do? That's the fourth legendary sword. Pull this lever, and once you are back to the surface. Seek out the Royal Blacksmith for an upgraded sword. Alright, so we gotta go um, back to the Blacksmith, huh? What's this? This has gravitational potions here. Four different ones. Looks like we're gonna save our progress. Rest up before the next challenge. Oh, sweet! Here we go! Oh, what's going on? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh god! They're making everything seem so super crazy action-y that it really is! Oh god! Oh no! What are we gonna do? They, they want me to use a gravity potion, but uh, it's not necessary. It would make everything look way more epic, I'll tell you that, but it's cool. It's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. I'll probably get hit um, way more than I should along the way. So let's just pretend my character's going up and down in this awesome crazy um, uh, battle. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god! It's pretty cool how they're simulate, uh, simulating an escape though. Pretty clever. I like it. Holy crap. I just picked up some items. Oh no, I, I picked up some of the, the blades there. That goddamn. It's a little uh, collateral damage there. How uh, long is this little place anyway? I'm, it's pre I'm pretty sure I'm. Oh god! I lagged a little bit. Too many explosions at once. Oh, we made it! Oh god! <laughs> that was close, but you made it out alive. And the tunnel is leading into some sort of underground jungle. It's very dark, so your fairy will help light the way. You must reach the surface and head east to the fire dungeon. Find the seventh soul of might, and then head to Ganondorf's lair. Rest up before that long run. Alright. Oh, you better rest up after that long run. Pretty much. Here we go. Into the jungle Reno. Alright, we got an awesome fire um, thingamajiggy. Let's just run through this damn thing. Oh my god! I'm pressing a lot of traps. Oh my god, it's insane. Alright. I'm just gonna run through this. I really don't like jungle areas, so... Oh, crap. There's traps everywhere. This is pretty cool. Ah! I don't think I want to use my hookshot. I mean, what's the benefits of using a hookshot over the other thing? It doesn't seem to be longer. I think it just shoots faster, right? Okay, I don't know what the heck I'm opening. I'm just gonna go left and right and see what we can find. I wonder if they're gonna end up giving me like some sort of wings by the end of this um, of this awesome playthrough. Whoa, jeez Louise, that blew up. Is this gonna be a secret to everybody? Yeah, cool. All right, we got a uh, oh more life fruits, and we got this uh, warding obsidian shield, immunity to knockback and fire blocks. So we just got this in the same episode, but I guess we don't need it anymore. <laughs> Let's wear this instead. Should be coolios. Damn, that was pretty awesome. How it just exploded. But we got lots of mud blocks. We're not supposed to obtain blocks in this uh, playthrough, but hey, it happened. What are you gonna do about it? We're not gonna use it though. That's for Shao. Did I press this already? I must have. So, um, something has to have opened. There we go, this one opened. So let's press this. That closed it behind me. Was I supposed to do that? I can't see. I'm just gonna close all these, because, I don't know. I'm just gonna press every single lever that I've been to once and we'll see. So for now, I'm gonna have to end it though. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, it helps so much. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I uploaded a lot of daily videos. Thanks for watching my Terraria series. You guys are the freaking best. I have the best moblins in the world. Thanks for watching.
Oh god, must press all these. And I'll I'll see you guys next time. Trying to find some locked rooms now. Oh! Hey! Okay. It's a dinosaur head. The fetus? Mm, hi, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, someone broke oh! the